you gotta have like such an epic intro. I can't do it myself. You just got like a big breath. Yeah. What's up and good morning, guys? How are you? Hold on, hold the camera yeah, higher. Okay, hold, okay, okay, okay. What's up and good morning, guys? How are you, Alex? You're from my oh Ryan here with work for it. No, no, you're you're, you're Alex, yeah. dude. Dude, like <laughs> my arm reaches are long enough. So one thing we haven't done, guys, on the channel in a long time is like actually show up to like a truck meet, go around, check out a bunch of the vehicles, and this just so happens to not be like my core world. This is. I mean, we'll show you guys as we go in the back there. This is like the pre-runner world. And these guys, we think we put a lot of money into our vehicles. You see some of the stuff out here, and it's like they put some money into the vehicles. Then they go break it, and then they put more money into their vehicles. But we got the crew out here today. Fern's over there. Chris, we got Danny. But you guys know Alex from Hoppos. I mean, you guys have seen him in the videos in the past. Obviously, Hoppos, like the number one guys for anything low rider, hydraulics, airbags, all the cool stuff. But he's also got a YouTube channel, right? I do. What yes. is, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, Alex Hoppos 909. There you go. Alex Hoppos 909. Make sure you guys go check him out. I know a lot of you guys are like, we kind of cross worlds here with trucks, low riders. Like, it's all cool stuff. And his stuff, like, papoos on our stuff when it comes to, like, details and engraving and powder coating and gold plating and all the crazy stuff. So make sure you guys check them out. Hold on, this guy right here. Look at this. Look at this. Rolling with the workforce shirt. You Thank know you it. Absolutely you know love it. it. Appreciate yeah. it, brother. Do the spin. Do the spin. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, 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 oh. look at that. Born and bred. Don't touch the guy, man. She's oh, fur. Man, I'm wearing a suit over here, dude. Yeah. No, you, you got permission. Who's All right, making, there you go. You got permission, <laughs> fur. You can touch him. Who's making kind of setup? <laughs> oh, we sold out in an hour, though. There you go. There Thank go. you for everybody who came by, supporting Work for Apparel, supporting Ferns Barbecue, Hoppos, Shreddy, Terra Crew. The Fern, as far as the video knows, we just got here. We just got here. <laughs> we ended the video right now. Yeah. We're like two minutes into Boom. it. Look at this. We're about. 500 trucks deep. We're not even down it's there yet. Probably, there's yeah, another row yeah. joining. We're going, which there's, one, there's at least 400 trucks here, at least. What do oh. you do with your hands? Pick a camera, pick a camera. I'm going to camera too. Pick a camera. What's your Instagram handle? Uh, Matt3751Korea. Man, it's a long one. But that's <laughs> it's my name. This vibe right here, nobody's going out and breaking stuff. We're just hanging out, having a couple, you know, adult beverages, some water, riding the bikes, kids around here. Look at that, boom. Taking photos of some actual that is. Going on. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So the cool thing about coming out to meets like this is you get to see like the entire spectrum of a truck, whether it's fully, fully built trophy truck to like fully not built feeder. But then you get stuff like this where it's like super clean. This is kind of like the style of Chris's truck right here. Super, super clean. Still has that off-road look. Still probably do decent, you know, in the washes and stuff. But this truck is just super clean. Got the Baja kits, Baja designs lights in the bumper. Just super clean how they cut the bumper and just made their little little tube bumper on it. I like stuff like this. Just super, super clean. Then you roll into the Broncos. Wait till you see the uh, Zooey. Oh yeah, we went for some lights on this bad boy. I like it, I like it. And they were not messing around with the light bars on this one. Granted, if you're actually rally racing, like you need a ton of lights so. Can we do this to your truck? Yeah. No? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got we'll a bunch of Rams right. over here. All right, bro. I'll see you. It's crazy how like each crew has like your vehicle. Like. Take care. You got the guys that all like all their homies roll with Chevys. You got the guys that all their homies roll with Fords. This is clearly the Ram crew over here. What we got? Any TRXs? Oh, somebody snuck in a Raptor. Ooh, ooh, and look at this bad boy right here. I'd love, love, love one of these classic Broncos, but they are big money for what they are. But I would love to own one. Just cruise the beach, like it's the perfect area to cruise. And then you get to like full chassis built, like these are crazy. Like, I'd love to be in this world. My wallet won't allow me to be in this world, but this is cool. This is Blake pulling up in his new deuce and a half. I like it driving shoeless. Yeah. What up, homie? What's up, dude? Thanks for that. Dude, I drove it 180 miles the first time I got it. How you doing, dude? Hey, bro, how are you good? Let's toss me some ferns, dude. I'm hungry, Woo! fella. Uh, yeah, like 69. 60, screaming? I got it up to 69 downhill, dude. There you go. What do you think, dude? Dude, this thing's clean, bro. Sick. Huh? What year is it? Uh, 86. Heck yeah, dude. So that's five ton, turboed. All these buttons right here um, basically are the, the auto deflation and reinflation. That's right. So, like, you got sand mode where all the tires will drop down to 25 psi, and then, uh, yeah, you can hit a highway and they, they reinflate, and uh, you're cruising. Is like, everything air? So, I mean, it looks like the wipers, everything's air? Pneumatics freaking all over this thing. Yeah. Air brakes. Uh, you can put 10,000 pounds in the bed or on the flatbed. It folds down. We're going to put the race cars in it. That's rad. <laughs> and then uh, you can also 
um, to like 40,000 plus pounds. So yeah, the brakes in this thing are phenomenal. Everything's big, but simple. I was gonna say, did you see the gun? But well, we can see it. Well, we just won't show it on YouTube, but this thing came mounted with a 50 cal up there. 50 cal, baby. We're gonna turn that thing into like either a, like a squirt gun, or a t-shirt cannon, or potentially a flamethrower. Um, might, yeah. might have to have different options for, for the good times. But, but when the cops are rolling around, it's t-shirt cannon. Or squirt gun. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, a propane torch. Oh yeah, there you go. Somebody told me to classify it as. Oh, it's official now, y'all. I've been walking around a minute here. There's probably, what, four or five hundred trucks, you'd say? Yeah, like, yeah, a good amount here. We ran into Jeff's Chevy here. This thing is rad, bro. Give us a walk around of this thing. This thing's insane. So it's a 2017 Silverado, full 13 race kit, King 2.5 pullovers, 3.0 bypasses, um, bump stops, and everything are at home. That's, that's gonna be our next thing. Um, full Fiberworks glass. We did all the KC highlights on the front and rear of the truck. Um, I had Royalty Port actually custom build me this grill. It's one of two. My buddy Truck Guru actually has the other one for oh, his. Okay for his uh, Duramax he built a couple years ago. Well, yeah. clearly you got everything chrome too. Like Yeah, we chrome plated it just because I wanted to do something different. I don't see anything. Yeah. I did come from a show truck too. Like this truck actually used to have an 11 and a half inch lift and 24 by 14 inch forged wheels and stuff on it. Okay, so that's quite I the transformation. Keep, yeah, I, Atlas built me a custom pack for it. We did Dirt King's bed cage, also chrome. Um, all Dirt King's shackles and hangers, which are also chrome and then just dual spares, and then we have a couple other stuff we're working for the bed of it to add a um, little more storage. Heck yeah, dude, this thing is rad. Exactly. I love it. I mean, I love that you, you took the show truck stuff yeah, and like I'm, kind of pimped this thing out too, but was, it's still functional. Right, that was kind of my whole thing is I just wanted it to be something different. Like most people, we rolled in and had the windows down and the only thing I hear from everybody is, oh, look at the chrome. Because nobody, I, we've, we've walked through every truck here and I haven't seen any chrome suspension on any other trucks. Yeah. I thought I had to smog it this year. So I was holding <laughs> off to do it till next year. And then at that point it had been paid off and it had been a toy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, we were holding off for a while. And then I was started looking to see if I was going to have to smog it this year and I didn't have to. So now we can start ordering parts for it. Nice. You stripped the whole, I mean. You stripped all the gum costume. Yeah, dude. Thing. Like every little detail you touched on here. Yeah, no, my girlfriend actually stripped the whole entire frame on it, so. Well, kudos to her. Yeah, that, she was a champ for that That is one. not fun. No. <laughs> Heck yeah. I like how we tied in the wrap. There's like just enough details to make it like yeah, it just showy, but like, then, like cool. We hid like the Switch Pro up in the front where like the cigarette lighters normally Oh were, yeah. Because I'm not using those in my truck. <laughs> so you guys know, Chris loves like the off-road world. His truck's like, kind of like bridges that gap of daily driver. It looks off-roady, but it's not like suspension-wise built for off-road. We're gonna try and convince him right now. This is what he needs to do to his truck. We, we gotta show you something. What, are you ready? No. You're not ready? What? My new what? friend Jeff, nice. Nice by the way. Nice to meet you. Oh, you yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When are we doing this to your truck? <laughs> what? This is what you need to do. It's only money, you make more. That's true. How do we make it happen? Um, 100 grand. Loving the decal, looking good. Appreciate it, bro. So then when you get stupid money, you get matching F100s. So two dudes own these, but these things are super, super sick. You guys know, I used to have a 73 F100. Uh-oh, got the cops here. This is how I would love to do one of these old trucks. You can see every detail in there. The entire dash was all wrapped and stitched. Everything's leather wrapped. I know it's gonna be hard to see through a dusty window, but super, super clean interior on this thing. Yo, check this monster out right here. This thing's huge. You guys are about to witness a murder go down. Look at look at the snakes lining up right with the jugular right there. Oh, dude, he's even wrapped up in your chain holding him on there? Maybe. Look at that. Chris, hold the snake. No. Hold the no. snake. You don't want to grab another mess snake? I gotta go. Oh, you gotta go? Sick. Might be time to tear apart the old single cab. Yes. But there's a lot of sick trucks out here, but ain't got too many sick town cars. Look at this bad boy right here. Yeah, custom bumper. Clearly we uh you know doing a little little body work there with some self-tappers. I like it, I like it. Now in the land of the pre-runners, sometimes things stand out to you. This super clean crew cab OBS over here is oh she is speaking to me right now. I like it. I like it. I like how they carry the old school wheels. It's running the same Toyo MTs I'm running. Oh, they got the big old like 
fire engine winch bumper on there. Not my ideal front end. I like the uh, the front end that I have. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that front end on the OBS. I always appreciate when you can see a solid crew cab long way. Like, they're just nice. They're sick trucks. One thing we haven't really focused on here is our good buddy, SoCal uh, Greg Gay's shirt here. Look at this. As you guys know, owner of Dixie, who looks just like that. You've seen her in my videos a lot. A little puppy running around, but awesome shirt, buddy. Thank awesome you. shirt. Thank yeah. you. Where can we They're find that? The, uh, well, we know where that one. That one's workforapparel.com. This one, Amazon maybe? Uh, <laughs> okay. A clean first gen rolling through. We're about to leave. But better late than never. I mean, always late to the party. Always. Oh, What's up? <laughs> Check this thing out right here. This thing is dope. What up, buddy? This thing's fucking sick, dude. Oh yeah. Now you guys know when we launched. The work for it, straw hats, these things sold out quickly. How quickly did you jump on the website, dude? Right away, man, as soon as they came up. Heck yeah, man, I appreciate it, glad you got one. They will be back in stock at some point, guys, don't worry about it. Um, rolled up in your OBS here, what do we got? Give me a little, little walk around here. Uh, what we got here is a 1993 Ford F-150. It is at the 5.8 V8, 351 Windsor. It's got a three inch lift, some 33 mutters, some 15 inch ion aluminum wheels all the way around. Yes, custom built headache rack in my garage. All right, all right. Little light bar mounts. Clearly, the truck's been painted. Yes, sir. Did you have it painted? Yes, sir. What uh, what color is that? I mean, it's like a purpley like metallic -y tanny. I don't know. How do you? To, uh, to be honest, I don't remember what they called it. Okay. They just. Uh, don't worry, I'm in the same boat on that truck. I have no clue what that color is. <laughs> I think when they told me when I picked it up it was like a tropical grape or something like that. It's cool, man. It's different because it kind of has like a little bit of old school to it. Yes, sir. But I like you got to throw the flake on there. It just like Always. classes it up. There I like go. it. Always got to represent work for it in the back. Boom. Love it. Heck yeah, man. Good stuff, brother. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. I guess the RC car crews have come out here. They built a little jump over here. That got rowdy really quick. You guys good? All right, if you get hit, that's on you. Haven't seen any of the new Rangers built yet. Looking clean, looking clean. No clue what suspension set up, but he's already got the popular glass bedsides on there. Purplish pink bead locks. Yeah, yeah, watch all your videos, dude. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Is this your truck? Yeah, it's mine, my brother's. Awesome, dude. Give us a walk around. I mean, we've been looking at some like pre runner ish build, but like y'all got the real deal here. Yeah, it's an old body style. It's a 91. Just has a newer front on it. Uh, me and my brother put it together. He bought it, it was stock. Uh, it took us about five years to put money into it. We actually worked for it to. I like to it. Get I it like going, the plug. You know? I like the plug. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we got it built in Mexico by BRS. Okay. All our glasses, McNeil uh, King sponsors us. Uh, we raced the the record series down there. Nice. And it's it's fully gutted. Fire glass dash. Two race seats in it. Heck yeah, dude. Oh y'all y'all got the the big the navigation, the yeah. big GPS in there. Dude. That way they can't say they can't see the course, you know? <laughs> <laughs> What's it got for an engine in it? Do you guys run the... Uh, stock 4.0. Is it? Okay. Yeah, our class requires it. We can't really go anything bigger. Gotcha. If not, we'd have a V8 swap too, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. And you guys got a race coming up? Yes, uh, this weekend coming up. Nice, Wednesday, dude. we got Barstow to go to with King. Because uh, we had to rebuild the rear shocks. Okay. Uh, last race, we blew out the coilovers on it. Heck we still yeah. finished, but we limped it pretty much. Gotcha. Nah, this thing's rad, man. One day, one day I got... Hold on, hold on. We got, we got a street sweeper sponsor on there, dude. Yeah, we do. <laughs> dang, dang. Shout out Swifty Sweepers. I don't know who you are, but that's my uncle's company, right is there. Is it? Yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah. That's Temecula. 
he's got any for sale, you know. <laughs> Cleaning out the let fleet, you, you let me know, all right? Yeah. <laughs> How much fuel do you guys hold? Uh, 32 gallons. That's pretty good. It's good for the races that we do. Yeah. The longest one is 250 miles, so we still fill in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I well, appreciate it. No, no problem, man. This thing's sick, dude. Bernard, are you getting kidnapped? I'm getting kidnapped. One of my old neighbors from 15 years ago. Uh oh. Let's see a wheelie. Yeah, don't. Turn a wheelie. Turn a wheelie. It. So I haven't seen these guys probably in like four or five years, but I've known them for about 15. How long we know you? Long time. Long time. Long time. Long time. He had a uh, orange 72 C K10, and this is his now. This is the successor. <laughs> They've seen me eat a lot of sand with my banshee. Yeah. Uh, wow. Ryan, what's, what's your what's your Instagram handle? Uh, Rhino619. <laughs> so like Rhino, DMX Rhino. <laughs> See, they're all famous. Hold on, hold on. Before we get into this, so Fern actually rode Banshees. Yeah, oh yeah. Because oh. we tried to get him on a 110 and he won't go near him. I, I, I know why. <laughs> I, I, know, I know the reason I know why. why too. I, I go straight, I don't turn. I go straight. Okay, okay. See, it's, it's uh, ODB, Old Dirty Blazer. Awesome. Yeah, she's uh, she's just getting ready to get worked over, so. What's the plans? I mean, I'm liking the wheel tire combo you got already. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go probably six inches up, and uh, you know I'm just gonna keep it original, but with the big meats on it. Guys, it's just a weekend cruiser, yeah. Okay. Simple. All right, y'all. Well, today was pretty sick. Huge shout out to Fiesta Pre Runners, Terra Crew, Wilkie Shreddy, all the guys that threw this event for today. This thing was super at like giant turnout. I don't think anybody anticipated this big of a turnout. This was awesome. Um, oh, oh, we 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 shooting. 50 cal's going off. And I think uh, a deuce and a half might be in our future, guys. I don't know. I've always wanted one. This thing's rad. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you're not missing out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, okay, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.